Hi, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to look at uh, removing the dashboard and checking the wiring. As you can see under there it's a little bit of a mess and some of the wiring uh, looks as though it's been filled about with. So I'm going to pull the dashboard back and see what the state of the wiring actually is and whether or not I want to replace it. First bit of a recap on what I've done uh, so far. Uh, at least over the last month or so. It's been a bit of a slow month actually, but I've managed to refurbish the dynamo uh, with new bushes, uh, etc. Uh, so that's in uh, a good state now. Handbrake uh, mechanisms being overhauled and painted, and so is the pedal box, as you can see there. Uh, so what's the plans for 2019? What about 2019 and what's, what's in store for the Lotus? Well, engine's got to be rebuilt for a start off uh, and the head's going to be sent away soon. Um, there's all the bits and pieces in there. Over here, I know it looks a bit of a mess but I know where everything is. We've got the wheel hubs down there. They're going to be overhauls, new bearings. Down here, if you can see, we've got the steering rack that's going to be overhauled, uh, the anti-roll bar, new bushes in there, new rubbers. Um, that fan is probably going to be going, although it's uh, an old 1970s Wood Jeffries fan. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be reusing that uh, because uh, the wiring in the, in the uh, engine bay looks a right mess with that installed. And of course I've tidied it up. So, so one of the first jobs I'm going to tackle this year uh, is to pull the dashboard off and have a look at the wiring because uh, it looks a little bit of a mess. Uh, I'm definitely replacing the uh, engine bay loom which I've referred to in an earlier episode. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at the wiring loom behind the dash. Uh, there have been some extensions and the wiring's been messed about with so I just want to have a look at the condition of it and if I feel necessary I'll replace it with a new one. Um, so apparently it's quite an easy job. Remove the centre section there and then there are five bolts. As you can see, the large headed screws there, 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 there and over there and then pull it forward. Then there are a few things to undo. Um, and I'll have a look, see if I need to replace it. Okay, well that was fairly straightforward. Uh, I just missed two of the bolts at the bottom there which were hidden so I've removed the uh, gear lever and uh, it came off quite easily. Um, that's obviously the front of the dashboard and there are a few cracks that you can see, whoops, it focuses just there in that corner and down there but it's generally in fairly good condition. I'm going to try and refurbish it as much as I can. I don't really want to go to the expense of a new dash. Uh, certainly those switches, I'll try and get them back to the original condition, but I might look for a new set if I can get them, of course. So let's have a look at the back of the uh, dash at the wiring. And I've got to remove a lot of uh, bits and pieces before I can totally remove the dash, disconnect all the wiring and label it up. Um, it has been messed about with. There are red wires with a connection on, it's going to red and white, and other bits and pieces. So, as you can see there, horrible connectors.
Now this is obviously a re the original loom. Uh, the one in the engine bay was quite crispy. Uh, this one doesn't seem too bad. Um, I'll dig in a little further and see what I can reveal and uh, I'll let you know in a few minutes. As you can see now we've got most of the uh, instruments out and the wiring disconnected and labelled. Uh, just a few more to disconnect just down there and then I'll show you a bit more detail what it's like under the dashboard and what I'm planning to do. Right, here we go. Here's the dash out of the car. All the instruments removed, wiring from the switches obviously. Um, it's not looking in too bad condition. Uh, as I said uh, when it was in the car, there's a couple of cracks and it looks like it's in the varnish, maybe the laminate, or that one certainly. Um, but I'll see if I can do anything with it. It's a shame to buy a new dashboard just because of that. Um, as you can see the switches uh, have seen better days. I will try and refurbish them. But as you can see, if I go zoom in a little bit more, someone's had a go at cleaning them and not very, very well. Looks like I've tried to clean them with a screwdriver, to be honest. Uh, there we go. It's the back of the dashboard, uh, so you can see all the switches close up. And they're just grubby, to be honest. There's there's obviously nothing wrong with them at the back, apart from uh, the cosmetics at the front. Um, one of them, uh, the cover came off and it looks a bit dodgy, which is the uh, light switch. So I'm going to have to uh, look at that in a bit more detail. But if I need to buy some more anyway, it's, it's um, not going to be a problem. There is a problem with one switch though, which is down here. And that's the heater fan. And as you can see, one of the connectors has either broken off or it's uh, overheated and come away somehow. Uh, so that either means just the switch has gone or it's a problem with a heater fan, uh, which I'll have to investigate a bit further. So I'm more on that in another video, I think. Um, all the instruments are here, as you can see. Oil and water gauge, taco speedometer, fuel gauge, and the original Motorola radio. It looks as though at some point the taco has been replaced as it looks uh, uh, a lot newer than the others. And certainly if you look at the back of it, it's totally different. It certainly looks a right mess in there, uh, but that's what you'd expect. I've still got to tidy it up. Uh, the wiring doesn't look too bad actually, uh, so I might go away with just uh, cleaning it up and uh, taking all the uh, added connections out and tidying it up, to be honest. Uh, the heater box and the heater fan in there, that needs to be refurbished. I need, as I said a little bit earlier, need to have a look at the heater fan to see if there's a problem with it. Um, I've never test, tried the heater fan, to be honest. Uh, while I've had the car, I've only driven it in the, in the warm weather. Um, but we'll have a look at that. So there you go. That's all I'm going to do for today. So please subscribe. There'll be lots more to come. It's quite an interesting interesting little job this one. I'm um, looking forward to sorting it out. Uh, so yeah, as I say, please subscribe, there'll be a lot more to come.